Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Bruno and today we are looking at my 3D printed Dark Knight Batman cowl. So as you can see here, it is in the progress of printing. This took almost three days to do the whole thing. Let's take a look at the file. This file is created by user Colonius on Thingiverse. This is a second file that I have done by this user and it looks awesome. I was able to print it all in one piece on my CR10. All right, let's take a look at the finished product. So you can see these like thick lines on the side. I don't know if it was a layer shift or what. There's also these little hashes up on the ear, um, but these are uh, pretty thickly raised lines on the side that we're gonna have to take care of um, with sanding and everything. Um, not totally sure what happened. Very thick up here. We're also gonna have to work on that um, and do it in a way that we're not gonna lose a whole lot of detail because we don't wanna do that. Um, I'm not gonna worry about nostrils. I'm just gonna leave it whole because uh, nobody's gonna wear this thing So it doesn't really matter um, But yeah, I think I think it came out pretty well Okay, so I also printed this stand for it. I know it's not the right bat signal. Don't get on me about that um, But this one that I found was pretty big too big even for my CR 10 so I had to split it on mesh mixer in two parts and uh, We're gonna glue them later Okay, all right, so I'm gonna start sanding and I started sanding by hand here, but uh, it's not doing much these this is very thick uh, Ridges that I'm trying to get out of there and uh, same thing with the line So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my palm sander and see what we can do All right, this is after my palm sander So I was able to really hit those thick lines and bring them down So it's nice and flush with the rest of the helmet also took care of the top here it still looks like it's there but if you feel it it's really smooth um and i'm gonna go ahead and fill it with wood filler anyways but uh this is uh the first pass that i usually do to get rid of these really big lines next is we're gonna use this wood filler i love to use this elmer's wood filler i use it for all my projects i haven't really tried anything else yet and we're just gonna cover this entire helmet including that top part right there and after that we're gonna let it dry overnight and then we are going to sand it down so let's just go ahead and cover it all just like this all right here it is all covered it looks crazy looks really rough um but yeah you want to cover every single part of it basically all right here it is we're gonna let this dry overnight and sand it tomorrow all right, here is the next day. You can see it is uh, it has changed color a little bit and it is all very rough and hard now. So now we're going to take some sandpaper and go through the whole thing and get it as smooth as we can. All right, here it is. Still looks rough and that's totally okay. We're going to do several passes of filler primer and wood filler and that's what we're going to do tomorrow the next day and we'll just cut to that being done now all right so i went ahead and did the filler primer and let it dry overnight so you guys don't have to sit through all that and you can see it looks way way better still looks rough but that's totally okay we're gonna sand that down now to get it looking even better just like this and there you go i think it looks great right now but now we still have big chunks of, uh, of uh, material missing all around it, and we still have some of those lines showing. So now we're going to take some wood filler again, and we're just going to specifically hit those parts. Before we do that, let's get our little handy dandy file and file down those holes for the eyes and the mouth, get them looking good. All right, so let's go ahead and take little dabs of wood filler. We're just gonna hit those problem spots. We don't have to cover the entire thing all over again, but we are gonna be a little more precise in the areas that we wanna take care of just like that. All right, here it is. We're gonna let that dry overnight and sand it tomorrow and then more filler primer, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications, and we will see you next time.